I'm assuming you're trying to install Crouton and you've already put your Chromebook into developer mode. So mine is just rebooted, sort of like factory reset, and I've entered my account info. I'm logged in now and I'm Googling download Crouton. Because from here, I just need to first look for the section called usage. I'll include the link here. So this place here will pretty much give you the example of how to install Crouton step by step. This is what I followed and it worked pretty good for me. I need to download Crouton. So it's this link over here. Just click on it and it'll download to the download folder. So now it's available. So I finished step one over here. Next is opening uh, shell, com shell, shell, I mean, Croche, and then it's just Control Alt T. I'm assuming you can find Control Alt T on your keyboard, and then typing in shell, and pressing Enter. So I'm already done with step two, and I'm going into step three. Uh, as I had mentioned, the first step of just clicking on it should put in your downloads folder the crouton over here which is perfect now I just need to run the sudo command where it copies the, the script into your user local bin and makes it executable so you need to do this command over here and it'll copy it into this directory so you can run it anywhere when you're in shell command This is a warning. I actually need to run it. Okay, it did do it. Um, and then finally, I'm going to run the installer. I'd like to remind you that when you run this command, you're installing Ubuntu 16.04 in this uh, GitHub site to, for downloading Crouton. He mentions that uh, very quickly hey now, Ubuntu 60.04 is pretty old, I'm young and hip. So that's what you're doing as of 2022, installing this. Oh, sorry. So back to the line by line thing I'm trying to do. So I need to run, run step four, which is just this command. And this will take roughly around 15 to 30 minutes depending on what kind of machine you're running this is an old four or five year old Chromebook so it takes a while it's gonna take at least 15 minutes and it's like 1237 when it starts I'll come back when it finishes uh, what's gonna happen is if it finishes fine it'll ask you for the Linux uh, username and then the password that you want for that username as said in this line by line tutorial example it says wait patiently and then and answer any prompts and then if it installs you can just run the command to run crouton that's it super easy the other thing to mention is uh, shifting between chrome os and crouton because you're running it simultaneously so you can actually just hit Control alt shift back Back is the top, like the second top button, or Control Alt Shift Forward. Forward is like the third top button on your keyboard, and so we'll just let this go. And we'll come back later when it's all done. See ya. Finished uh, installing what it could, and at the very bottom now it's asking me for a username for for the what do you call it? A Linux account. Uh, and then it wants a password for me too, so adding that. It's doing its final touches. Um, it was twelve thirty-seven when I started.
It's 12.52.53, so it's about 15 minutes to install an old HP Chromebook uh, G4. This is running like a Celeron 3060 and only a 16 gigabyte storage, SSD storage, um, or maybe, I'm not sure. So if I want to run it, I just have to run start XFCE4. Easily, it's in the example, he mentions just running sudo xfc4. So all I need to do to run the uh, crouton is to run this command sudo start xfce4. What do you call it? Uh, I can't switch over and record a screen record because it doesn't do that. So I'll be go going over to my camera and you can see what I'm doing through my camera. So I'm just going to start it and press enter. I thought I copied this, but I didn't. So it's supposed to run sudo start xs xfce4. Voila. Welcome to Crouton. So what would be nice is if they had a web browser that I could automatically download with so I could just install stuff through the user interface, the graphical user interface, but uh, for most, for, for now, I just want to get Firefox on, which is the next part of my video.